Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. In the last video, we added some code to create the post component so we can upload the post data to the Firestore database. In this video, we'll retrieve the post data and display it. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel and follow along for this project. To begin, open the project from where we left off in the last session. In the terminal, create a component called Pose and place it in the tools directory. Go to the Pose component HTML page and add a mat cart element. Each post will have a header, so use the mat cart header element to add the header. Then add the mat cart title element for the name of the creator and the mat cart subtitle element for the creator's description. After that, each post may have an image, so add an image element and apply the mat cart image directive to it so it will use the styles from Angular Material. For the source of the image, use the home background image that was added earlier in the project as a placeholder. Underneath the image element, add the match card content element to display the message of the post. Lastly, add the match card actions element for the action items. Add three material icon elements to represent our actions. For the first icon, use chat bubble outline to get the chat bubble image. For the second, use favorite border to get the heart image. And for the last, use save to get the floppy disk image. Now that we have our icons, set the color of each icon to warm. And then apply the action item class. Go to the post component CSS file and create the action item class. For each item, set the left margin to 0.5m so the icons will be separated, and the cursor to pointer. Go to the post component TypeScript file, get the value of the selector and add it to the post feed component HTML page. If we save the project and go to the browser, we should see a template that we made for the post. Now let's see how we can get the post data from Firestore and display the post. Go to the post feed component TypeScript file. Import the Firebase TS Firestore class and create a Firestore object. To find a function called getPost. If we look at our database, the documents with the post data are in a collection called Post. To get the documents from the collection, grab the Firestore object and call the getCollection method. The method takes in an object with up to four properties. The first property is path. It is an array to indicate the location of the collection. Since we want to access the post collection, 
we will put post for the first element in the array. The second property is where. It is an array to apply filters to our query. If no filters are added, it will get all documents in the collection. The types of filter we can use is where, order by, and limit. If we want to get all the posts from a specific user, we will put the creator ID in the first parameter to represent the view that we want to use for this filter. For the second parameter, we can use any of these conditions. Since we want to get all the posts from a specific creator, choose the double equal symbol. For the last parameter, we will put the value that we want to use for the match. The order by filter is used to sort our data in ascending or descending order. The first parameter is for the field that we want to order our data by. The second parameter is the direction. We can use ASC for ascending or DESC for descending. The limit filter is used to limit the number of documents that we can get at once. We can put 10 to get 10 posts. Since we want to get the posts from any users, remove the filter to check the ID. The third property is the oncomplete callback function. It gets called when we receive all the documents from Firestore. We can use the result object to get all the documents. The last property is the unfail callback function. It gets called when something went wrong during the retrieval process. Now that we have a function to get the post, we can create an interface for the data that we are retrieving. At the end of the class definition, define an interface called PostData. We know that each post has a comment and a creator ID. It may also contain an image URL to represent the image of the post. Since it is an optional field, we need to put a question mark symbol before the colon. Make sure that each field in the interface matches the field names in Firestore. Go back to the class and create an array called post for the post data. In the onComplete callback function, grab the result object it contains a property called docs, which represents an array of documents that will retrieve in the collection. We can then call the for each function to loop through all the documents. Inside the loop, grab the document object and call the data method. This will return all the data for the post. We can assign it to a variable to store the value. Cast the data to post data and then add each post to the post array. Lastly, go to the ng on init method and call the get post method. When this page loads, it will get 10 posts from the database and store it in an array called posts. The next step is to go to the post component TypeScript file and create an input to accept the post document. Go to the post component HTML page and use interpolation to replace the static value from the post image with the image URL from the post document. For the comment, we will use the value from the post as well. Go to the post feed component HTML page. Inside the post component element, use the ng4 directive and loop through all our posts.
then set the post input in the post component with the post object that we get from the loop. If we save the project and go to the browser, we'll see some of our posts. If you notice, each post is taking up the whole width of the window. This can cause the image to be large. Go back to the post feed component HTML page. Wrap the post component with a div element and give it a name called post feed. Go to the post feed component CSS file and create a selector for it. Set the max width to 500 pixels and margin top to 5m. Lastly, center the post by setting the left and right margins to auto. If we save the project and go to the browser, our post will look smaller. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we get the creator's information and display in the post header. We'll also create the reply component so user can leave comments for the post. See you in the next video.